Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, we keep going on CRM and uh, we just finished up with the uh, tasks and kind of showing the importance of tasks and, and what you can do with it in the CRM system. Like I said before, we have now two types of tasks. Um, and I'm definitely going to talk to Microsoft about that. Like, hey, what's up? But uh, in the CRM system also, or actually if you're, you're logged in as a salesperson, there is a, a very cool um, thing called analysis here. So I'm logged in as the sales and relationship manager. And if I go into analysis, we get these uh, analysis reports. And uh, one of the really nice things about NAV is that many things are very generic, which means you can create almost anything you want. So if I go into, for example, here, sales analysis reports, we this is a, an entity. It's been around for a little bit, not too long, but it allows you to create analysis reports for sales specifically. And for example, if I go into this one here, key account sales, and I take a look at that, um, it basically says, okay, the analysis report is key account sales. The line template is going to be my customers. So those are my key accounts. And the analysis column template is going to be sales. So the line template is my customers. Those are the lines going down and columns across are going to be sales. So if I take a look at that, I get something like this. So I have here my customers, right? So somehow I specified my customers. And then across, I have these columns here. Sales ship, not invoiced, sales invoiced, sales quantity, total, etc., etc. And if I go back here, I can see this is view by day. I can go ahead and say, I want to see that by year. And then I take a look at that and I have the annual quantities. And you can see here, I have the range that I'm looking at. So this is 2019. Uh, so this is really cool. I mean, it's just a, a home uh, or you make yourself type of report, set up the columns, set up lines. So what options do we have as columns and lines? Let's take a look at that. If I go into this line template, my customers, uh, and I take a look at what that is, you can see that I get a list where I can specify what I want to see. It's very similar to the account schedules. So here I can say row A1 is going to be customer 10,000, A2 customer 20,000, A3 customer 30,000, etc. You can see this is a demo because we're taking the first five customers here according to 10,000. But anyways, I could have said this is going to be a group of customers right here, customer group and specify that group. Or it could be a certain salesperson, all of the customers for that, etc. I'm sorry, I, um, the salesperson's numbers, etc. And then I can have a formula and I can have an item, like an item group. So I have a bunch of options here. And I can tie this to dimensions. And then let's take a look at what we have for um, the columns. If I go in here into sales, Take a look at which columns those are and look at that. Here we have a, a really neat way of showing things. Uh, I can see whether invoiced or not invoiced, uh, they're net changed or balance of day, etc., etc. Very similar to the uh, account schedules. I can have it look at the item entries or the item budget entries. Uh, of course, there could be a formula, comparison date formula, very, very similar to the account schedules. Uh, etc. Here I could take a look at the sales amount, cost amount, standard cost, quantity. So a lot of options here to set up all kinds of uh, formulas, comparisons, taking a look at quantities and and the actual sales amounts, etc. So this is fairly powerful. Um, and ultimately, of course, that creates a report like we just took a look at before. Um, where I'm seeing all of the numbers like that. So uh, next one, I might dive into setting up one for myself, but 
this is, I think, a very, very interesting aspect to the CRM and sales in general. Um, there's not a whole lot of uh, systems that allow you to kind of create these dynamic reports um, like that. So I hope that was enlightening. And please, if you haven't seen this or taken a look at this in the system, please do. Uh, you're going to find it surprisingly useful.